feet up in the air, food all over my body. Everyone stopped and looked. I think the music even like, what the what does real estate and housing look like in the future? I don't really know, but today we're gonna be traveling to 2,999 and reacting to some of these real estate scenes from Futurama. But before we get into that, I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. If you wanna learn more about real estate and tour some awesome properties, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's head to future New York City and see what the real estate game looks like. Sure, it ain't one of them la di da above ground places. So, is that the future of what I'm gonna look like as a real estate agent showing an apartment for rent? <laughs> Classic. But if you like dank, forget about it. At least it's got a great view. Oh, yeah! what the? I love the fact that when he's showing the property and they're like, hey, look at these great views, and they look out, and all of a sudden the octopus suctions on it. Um, I was showing a very nice property out in Rancho Santa Fe. We were hanging out and enjoying the backyard, the views, the pool, and all of a sudden a skunk walked within about eight feet of us. <laughs> My client looked over and said, oh, look at that cat. And I was like, that's not a cat. Let's back away slowly. <laughs> Creatures, they always find their way. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go change a light bulb. Like when you look at the, the scenario when they walk in this room, you see a bunch of cracks in the ceiling area and on the walls. When we're out showing and selling properties and you see cracks, especially around the windows, if a door's not shutting properly, that's your foundation. That's potential, not good, and that, that could lead to a, a having to completely redo your foundation, completely repour the foundation. There's actually times that they have to jack houses up. That would be a major red flag for me. Wow, now this is fantastic. Hmm, I'm not sure we want to pay for a dimension we're not going to use. One of the first times we had broke a caravan where they open it up for realtors. It's kind of like a realtor open house. We headed over there. There was this big, beautiful $7 million house in the La Jolla Farms. It was the first broker caravan that I'd ever been to. There was a lot of successful agents there and I was nervous. I went to sit down on the lawn chair and because of the sun, it had completely frayed it. I sat and literally fell back, feet up in the air, food all over my body. Everyone stopped and looked. I think the music even like, oh my gosh, what happened? Are you okay? Anyway, it kind of reminded me of that poor robot. I, I don't want to relive that. So we've seen a couple houses that I don't, I don't want to go and revisit. People feel like it's so great to continue adding on. So you have this little weird hallway and then it opens this door and all of a sudden you have this big room. And then it's like, oh, but wait, there's more. And you keep walking, you go down this and then it starts getting lower. It's like a five foot ceiling. You're like, what the heck is this? Maybe take some time, think about the addition, talk to an architect and figure out, making sure that this continues the property to flow and it adds to the value versus subtracts from the value of the home. We went into a house and the woman absolutely 100% loved purple. The garage door was purple, the front door was purple, all of her flowers on the walkway were purple. Every imaginable piece of furniture, carpet, lamps, drapes, everything was a shade of purple. And I mean, even when we got there, she had a purple shirt on. We shook our head, but we were absolutely in awe. How did you find so much purple stuff? Maybe stick with some neutral, <laughs> neutral colors and splashes of accent walls. Well, I give up. What's the catch? Oh, no catch. Although we are technically in New Jersey. Not one place even remotely livable. Suspiciously fantastic apartment. Anytime a realtor, a car salesman, an insurance salesman, there's no catch. There's always got to be a catch. But what, what's wrong with New Jersey? Come on, I got some great friends from there. So what's interesting is, you know, you, you think robots, you think of AI. We actually have a friend of ours that has a little mini robot that's part of their household that you can program and it's supposed to do things. They've told me that it really doesn't do anything. They just said it's suspiciously weird, but I'm assuming at one point, kind of like how we have Siri now, we have all this, there are going to be ways that there will be someone that will be able to help you that will be of a robot type. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Sad, sad, terrible, gruesome news about my colleague, Dr. Mabutu. Was his apartment rent controlled? 
She brings up rent control. There's a certain amount that you're allowed to increase the rent on a yearly basis. So I'm trying to figure out if they're wondering if it got capped or what happened with that. I don't really know what the scenario would be, but pretty interesting. Wow, this is beautiful. What's with all the crap? It's not crap. Dr. Mabutu collected this crap while he was exploring the what you call it. Universe. I love how they call that junk. We tend to call that clutter. And yes, when you're showing a property, you're better off decluttering. Well, this place has everything except the only thing I care about. A TV. It's got a TV, you young what you call it. Idiot. Ooh. Think about that, like that big old hidden TV, you press a button, it comes down. I actually have a couple friends that they enjoy the indoor outdoor living here in San Diego and they have drop down screens that come down and then they have a projector that they put up so they have like potential movie nights for kids and we've actually gone over and watched football games on it so it's a pretty cool idea. Whoa, slow down. This place just doesn't feel like home. It just isn't cozy. Wow. Ah. I can barely move. It's perfect. You know, it says that the doctor unfortunately died exploring other galaxies. So by the time my kids are grown, there'll probably be some sort of other planet type life and, and, and buildings and, you know, survive over there. I, at this point, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Earth and I'm gonna stick here, but would you live in another planet out there? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. So overall, the, the future of real estate, it, it seems like it's gonna be very vertical. The last house where they came in and the doors opened up, the high ceiling, that may be the future of real estate. So I still love the fact that we have acreage, we have lands, we have pools, we have views, we have this, we have that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what the future brings up. Those real estate scenes were pretty interesting. What do you think? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you binge watch the entire playlist. I know you're really gonna like it, and please smack that like button when you do. That way you'll get notified of other videos as they hit.